In this video we're going to take a look at um, themes which are a way of changing the entire look of your slideshow without changing the content. Uh, themes are on the design tab which I already have selected here and the design tab is mostly devoted to themes. Uh, we've got a whole list of predefined themes here for us and a theme is basically a collection of several things. It is the background for your slide, uh, a set of colors for your slides, and a set of fonts for your slides. And uh, you can check out what your uh, slideshow is going to look like by pausing the mouse. This is just plain uh, black on white. It's not very interesting. And you'll get a live preview here of the slide that you happen to be on. And you see how um, the fonts change in addition to uh, the background. This one I've got a font with serifs, whereas over here uh, my fonts did not have serifs, and most of them uh, do not. Um, so we've got a handful of them here across the first row. And there's more. If I click on the More button down here, uh, I will get a list of all of these other ones here. And again, it'll try to do a live preview for me, but it can't quite keep up if I'm moving the mouse that fast. Um, it'll show us um, some other options up here, what we're using right now, and any custom uh, themes that we might have. Uh, now the problem with doing a live preview here is that uh, it's covering up a big chunk of my slide. So uh, what I'm going to do is click off of that. And then I'm going to go back and click on this other button here, which is just the, the scroll button. And if I click on that, now I see the second row. And now I can pause and I don't have to worry about everything uh, being covered up when I do the live preview. Okay. So you can just work your way through all of these and see if you find something you like. Okay, let's go back and uh, yeah, let's try this one here. Okay. So you got a lot of themes to choose from and when you actually select one then it takes all of your items over here and it applies that background and usually the background on the first slide, the title slide here, um, is a little different from the other ones. Uh, usually the picture is emphasized more on the first one uh, than it is on the rest of them. So uh, you notice we've got a little bit of difference here. And we've also uh, changed the fonts and uh, we've also changed the location of everything on the page and possibly the size of the fonts as well. So the content is the same. Um, everything that was on each slide before is still there. The order of the slides is still the same, but um, the background's different, the font's different, and uh, the colors may be different as well. Okay, let's go back up to our first slide here. Now we've also got some variants over here. And um, these, I'm just pausing the mouse now, you don't have to click. Um, this basically changes, takes the original that I've got and just modifies it with some different colors. And there's two things that are happening here. One is uh, the background itself is changing, but if you also look at this little palette of color squares here, um, that kind of tells you what other colors are going to be used in um, this variant. Okay, So I just clicked on that one, now it's being applied to everything. I'm going to click on this one and it's going to be applied to everything. Okay, uh, Now it kind of depends on which option you choose. Uh, we're not seeing much in the way of other colors. Now let's see what happens when we get down here. Now we do see some other colors, and uh, if I go back and click on one of these other ones here, uh, you see the colors of the boxes change. And if I go down a little bit further, uh, they're pretty consistent though. I still get basically that same shade of green on everything else. And it is probably doing uh, this color right here. Um, I'm not sure I see any of the other colors there, but uh, uh, so you get uh, a color for the background and you also get uh, some other colors for things like bullets and, and uh, text and, and things like that. Now there's some other choices here for variants as well. You can click on colors over here and it will give you another palette of colors here. Each one of these has a name and actually let's go to this one right here. I think we'll see the differences a little more on this one. So let's go to colors and I'm just going to pause here and watch what happens to the background as I do. Yeah, that one's not very good. 
Uh, but you can th scroll, th scroll through and take a look at each one and find something that you like. Okay. And let's see what Office 2007 is. We'll go with that one. And then we've got uh, choices for fonts. And when you get the list of uh, font choices here, you're going to see three names. Uh, the first one is going to be the name of the selection. So they call this selection uh, Office. And it has uh, Calibri Light and Calibri. And um, this is for uh, most of your regular text in your document. And this is for uh, text that appears in a lot of your uh, diagrams and stuff like that. But since it's basically the same font, Calibri and Calibri Light, you're not going to see much difference. Um, down here, though, if we do Office 2007, 2010, uh, the two fonts are Cambria and Calibri. Let's click on that. And you'll see that the title here uh, has serifs. And the uh, text down here does not. If I click on this and go to my home tab and look at the name of the font, uh, that's the Cambria font. And if I go down here and click on this stuff, uh, this is the Calibri font. So it's mixing two fonts, uh, but it does mix them consistently. If I go down here, um, this has the, what was that, the Cambria font again. And down here, if I click on this stuff, that's the Cambria font. And if I click on this stuff down here, I get the Calibri font. So uh, it applies the fonts consistently. Now let's go back. Uh, we'll go back to this slide again, and we'll go to our Design tab again. And uh, we can try effects. Most of these are really pretty subtle, um, and they're probably only going to show up on uh, slides where you have some kind of an image on the slide. And now watch as I move, I'll do a live preview here, as I move to the next slide here, um, watch the text that's in the boxes, and I got a little bit thicker white edges around that. Uh, this one, the white edges are thinner. Uh, that one didn't do a whole lot at all. This one's called frosted glass. I'm not sure why. Um, so you'll notice mostly about the only thing that's changing here appears to be um, that white outline around the boxes. And this is labeled shadow, but I'm not getting a shadow, so it must not apply to this particular type of graphic. Um, okay. And what else have we got up here under variants? We've also got um, background styles. And if you click on these, or we don't have to click, we can just pause and we'll get a live preview. Uh, it will give you some options for background styles. Now, these first ones here, you can't even see uh, the image. Well, I guess you can just barely see it on this one uh, because the image is still white on the background. So if I switch to a darker background here, it's easier to see that image that's there. Uh, and then down here, we get some gradients. Uh, it's hard to tell on these two, but uh, we've got a little bit of a gradient on these, and we've got some gradients on these down here too and I'm not seeing much of a change on these um, and a lot of it just depends on uh, what particular uh, theme you have selected when you start applying these uh, it'll apply differently to different themes uh, looks like this is changing the text color I got black there and maybe black there and then white and then white so. And that is pretty much everything that's on the design tab.